Hello, my name is Austin, and welcome to another episode of Anything Tutorials. Today we're talking about how to decrypt a DVD into a single video file on your computer. To do this, we're going to need two programs. The first is DVD Decryptor, and the second is Vidami. Both of these programs are completely free to download, and I will include links for them in the description below. Once you have them downloaded and installed, you're ready to begin. The first thing we're going to do is open DVD Decryptor. Uh, and you should have the DVD in the disk drive and you're going to click on mode and set the mode to IFO mode. This will enable us to access the files we need and once it's loaded you're going to click on the option that has the longest time. This is the main video. You're going to enable stream processing and just deselect all these options here. You need one video and one audio in preferred language, which is probably English. Then you're going to choose your destination file. Just wherever you want to keep. It's going to decrypt it into a couple different files. So you're going to probably want to make a new folder to hold them. Just label it the movie that you're decrypting is fine. Once you do that, you hit the go button and then it will start its process. This process will take probably a couple of hours. I've got it sped up here and so yeah, I'm just gonna skip ahead here to the next part. In this part you're gonna need Vidami. You're gonna open it up and right away just hit the switch mode button and it'll bring up your encode mode. You're gonna highlight the files that you got from the last process. Then you're going to go to video options and you're going to make sure you set to the same things I have here. Very important. Change your values. You only have to do this once because it will remember your settings for the next time. Same thing with this option. Change that to 128. And hit OK. Then you need to go output size options. Change that to s change it to set the target time 701, 700. Okay. All right. Then another option you can do is select source range, and this will help you crop the video size, taking off black bars in the top and bottom that can actually take up a lot of unnecessary space on your video file. Uh, my this video doesn't need it right now, so I'm just gonna skip this part and then go to general options. General options, you just set the file format. We're gonna use AVI format for this. And once you got all that, just select where you want your final file to be saved and set a name for it. Not very creative, just title it the name of the movie again. Save, and then you're going to hit start encoding. This is another process that'll probably take a couple hours at least. I've got it sped up here. You just leave this le going overnight or something like that. That's what I did. All right, now that you have finished this, you have the movie and a single file in the place that you designated it. It is in AVI format, which a lot of people don't really like if you have an older computer because it will not play naturally. You have to download separate programs. This can be easily changed by converting the file to like an MP4 or something like that. A great software to use for that is Format Factory. This is another free software that I will provide a link for in the description. Uh, to use it, just install it, open it, uh, just click on video, and just click whichever file type you want to save it to and add file, and then just find it. And it's as easy as that. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped. Please subscribe if it did. Remember, we have a new Twitter account now. Follow us on Twitter to get all the latest updates on different videos coming out and just different news going on in the community. Uh, we're we send in requests for video tutorials and we'll get those made as soon as we can. Make sure to leave your comments below and take care.